Yes, guys, my goodness, some things are absolutely timeless, and I mean it yeah. like nicest bam bam. Yes. <laughs> Good music is one of such things, really. So evergreen, so fresh, anytime, and we love it so much. Yes, sir. Tell me about it, girl. We get so nostalgic up in here every Thursday, and it's a feeling we treasure. We are simply about time pass and memories today. Of course, <laughs> uh, let's recapture these memories together. Be a part of the show by tweeting to us at TVC Connect with the hashtag eSplash on TVC and by calling us on the numbers on the screen. Of course, uh, you can catch in on all the thrills on your internet enabled devices too. Just go to our website and it is www.tvc entertainment.tv okay it's your girl it's your girlfriend next door it's a jewel in the crown it's the hostess means the, the hostess. hostess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's your girl honey post right here <laughs> because people are beginning to even get in touch with me on ig and they're like our girlfriend next door i'm like oh wow should we give you your girlfriend next door I said, I mean, no. I kept my word. My word is my bond. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't have DMs, she will be your girlfriend next year. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is Ryan and this is Flanders. I go by the name King OJ. Well, you can call me OJ. That's what it is. It is what it is. Alrighty, guys. My name is Faladile. Welcome aboard. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about what you can look forward to on today's edition of this fire show. Yes, there's entertainment news coming up very, very soon. Then we have celebrity birthday shout outs as well with a slight twist. Hmm, look forward to it because we will be opening up the phone lines for you to call in and wish someone special a happy birthday yeah. in one minute or less. Don't come and discuss all your family yeah. stuff. So yeah. Just make it short, okay? But yeah, so st stay by your phones, guys, and try calling, get calling, because we will be taking your calls to wish anyone you love a happy birthday today. There will also be Rewind, where we'll take you through a quick history lesson of today in entertainment history. Right after OJ, we'll take us over to the Tweetville Connor for some humor and savagery from social media. Yes, where our day now comes up after, where you'll find out what your favorite Nigerian artists from back then are up to these days. Later on, we'll do some ranting on the True Top segment. Then we'll bring you a recap of all that you might have missed in the news. And then on Daily Top 5, I'm so excited about this one, we'll be talking about five expressions of love for <laughs> throwback. I'm really wondering what that's about. Honey Pot, you're going to love this, I already know. And I love your energy today, by the way. I don't know what you ate. In abundance. Okay, now, guys, right after all of that, it will be time for our celebrity top 10 countdown. So let's just get started mm -hmm. already. East Flash will be back. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the entertainment news. Yes, we start with this one The Badge and Bankuli in War of Words. Yes, Nigerian entertainer, The Badge, and former manager, music head, Bankuli are in War of Words over a recent interview. It all started when Bankuli granted an interview with Pauls where he talked about how he. Don Jazzy and the band met Kanye West, a meeting which sparked a massive turnaround in the Nigerian music industry. The band, however, commented on the clip, writing, and I quote, This dude, laugh emoji, you and I know the truth, maybe it's time to start telling it. Well, Bankuli, who was not pleased with that statement, put out a post on his Instagram page where he shared a picture of himself in the studio and he captioned it, Silence, don't lie. There's truth in silence. The band then commented on the post, and I quote, then brother, keep quiet, and if you must talk about me, speak the truth, enough lies. Bankuli then replied that comment again with, hmm, I was thinking what truth you're talking about, looking at at this stage of your life. Keep your energy for your career and loved ones as you shall find the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Be safe, son. <laughs> so another day, another drama, Bankuli went on again, putting up another yeah. post, don't do drugs, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Oh so my it God. just just a random just, interview just that just became mess. messy. Yeah, it is it is a mess because um, when the whole Kanye West thing happened, you can't take away Bankuli from that experience because he was part of that experience, and you can tell that he's he was even kind of cool with yeah, Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, yeah. he put up a video of Kanye yeah. vibing to a song the other day, and um, so it was just very weird to see this because I know the band and Bankuli were cool. They were cool. And then so to see. Friends, and they're not babies, like they're adults, like grown men doing this on, on social media, going back and forth. It was just a messy so, one to see. I just feel like call, it, call one another up if you have issues but, and just sort it But out. I listened to that Bankuli's clip. And you didn't think there was anything What Bankuli said was the story that we all knew. Yeah. 
And that was the story the, uh, the band and the rest said, Don Jazzy said, that was how they met Kanye yeah. West. Yeah. So I don't know what lie Bankuli was putting out that mm -hmm. the band doesn't like and everything just changed. And silence yeah, don't it. lie, there's truth in silence. As for Ladele said, they are adults, they should have caused themselves. So if uh, maybe somebody is not now cooperating and another person feels that, well, maybe I would have to call you out or something because I don't know how yeah. it degenerated to <sighs> this stage. And again, is there, could there be some truth that Bankuli has and we don't know about mm. and it's just speaking in parables mm. and just, uh, you know, <sighs> making us think there is really something somewhere. I guess it's, time will tell you. It's just messy, man. Let's see where it goes from here, it's yeah? It's just messy. And I, I, right now, Bankuli is telling the band to focus on his career. Bankuli now is doing great things, um, featuring on Beyonce's project, yes. writing yes. songs for top um, yes. Top artists outside I, Nigeria. I, I really, really love what Bankuli is doing. I love the fact that Nigeria is on that world map, yeah. and uh, people like that. Are yeah, he's playing a part too. in that. He's played story, a part yes. too, and all that, and that he even brought some people in. Yeah, because I can remember that. Um, was it Tewa Savage um, being on Beyonce, and then they, they yeah, were talking about oh how he slept, and then woke up, he was so tiring, and this, 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 and that, 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 you know. So I love that. that I think he had something to do with tennis. Um, yes, yes. Yeah. So, so, initially, yes, I don't know, right? Because initially. he came here with Tenny the yes. very first time Tenny came in, and mm -hmm. Tenny was not that popular mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at that point. So, mm -hmm. I mean, oh, wow. so the, the, the reason why it's good that we're even saying this because a whole lot of people on social media yesterday were like, Who are you again? Yeah. Who are you, Bankuli, that you want to be tackling the band? So, the thing Some is, people don't know the these, thing people. Is, these people are backstage, yes, exactly. They, they, they play a very big role, but because they're not the artists that you know, you can't just say that who is Bankuli. I say, Who are you? You have to be, they don't know now, they, and they that, don't know. I, but, that, and, but that's another problem with this back and forth. Because when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, people are going to think Bankuli is one random guy, guy that is trying to cloud so, chase. So, so, as I said this before, you know how you're very popular and then I have something with you and, you know, on internet, because you're popular, people are not even waiting to hear my side. But because this is the because person I'm they more know, popular, they yeah. just start taking yeah. sides and all that, which is... It's just, it's just so sad. I don't know. It's, it's just, just so it's sad. just stop all this mess, mm -hmm. man. This is just too All right, guys. Let's dirty. move on. South Africa artist, South African artist petition their government for inviting Burner Boy for concert. <laughs> all right, so sit tight for this one. As in. <laughs> a couple of musicians in South Africa have sent a petition to the Minister of Arts and Culture for including Nigerian artist Bernard Boy in the Africa Unite concert, which is scheduled to hold on November the 23rd and 24th, 2019. According to them, the reason for the petition is because of the exclusion of their local artists from the lineup, while they included Bernard Boy, who made some inciting hatred comments during the xenophobic attacks, where he claimed it will not set foot in South Africa again. In another twist, South African rapper AK is demanding an apology from Bernie Boy over the statement he made a few months ago during the xenophobic attack in South Africa. He took to his Twitter page where he posted a series of tweets saying, "Exe, I wonder what that means. What does that mean again? I say. I say. A yeah. Bernie Boy. All we want is an apology. We know uh, some, Africa, something. South Africa is not you perfect. Know, yeah. It's not perfect, but we took you in as our before our own before we uh, you reached these levels. You say you are an African giant. Prove it. This issue is just getting dramatic by the day, though. And I'm wondering. <sighs> I mean, so do they have complex? I'm so I have sorry about this. And um, one Bonaboy fan came for me in my DM the other day. Because he's like, oh, you hit Bona Boy. Da, 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 da. Really? And mm -hmm. because of what you said here. No, yeah, about yeah, because I'm quite vocal. I think when I was talking about um, how he sent the fan out, yes, yes. Oh. How, yeah, and then of course I talked about his um, tweets during the xenophobic attacks, and so it was calling me names. But I'm going to talk now, so prepare to enter my DM again. I'm ready for you. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's nothing personal. I just feel like because initially when I saw this, I was like, okay. Um, what is the problem that they have with Bonaboy coming and all that? And I realized that during the attacks, he did make comments that incited hatred. Yeah, true. Yes, right. let's be honest. He said stuff about how he's never setting foot there again and all that. And I'm like, so even when I heard the story that he was going to be performing, I was like, ah, don't do that now. Like, let your word be your bond. You said you're not going to set foot. So don't show up and now say, oh, some of the proceeds are going to go to charity. That was cool, but like, don't go, like, don't be that person who has said something. You've written it down. 
And then people are going to pick that back up and be like, yo, but you said you weren't going to do it. So to now be going there, it's a bit, mm. so I wish maybe they invited an artist who wasn't perhaps so um, involved in the old... wasn't so involved in the way that leaned towards hatred. So, so, so the problem I have, so this, I concert, the this concert is called Africa Unite. Africa Unite. Unite. So it's not a bad thing if mm -hmm. Bonaboy goes for the concert. That's one. Two, um, the concert itself is put together by a Nigerian company mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a South African company. So the Nigerian company apparently wants Bonaboy to represent Nigeria there the, because Bonaboy African apparently giants. is the biggest, <laughs> yeah, the African giant, and it's an African concert. Yeah. So I don't know what the drama is. AKA has been looking for a way to just get Bonaboy to talk, yeah. and he keeps getting, he keeps doing it. A whole lot of people like they are trending right now on Twitter, yeah. and a whole lot of people are coming for AKA. That why are you trying to be relevant in Nigeria with Bonaboy? Mm -mm -mm. And as usual, the AKA that will never keep quiet. It keeps coming back and giving everybody. Okay, so number one, I've always been of the opinion that AK is just too petty. How can a fine boy like that open his mouth and what comes out of his mouth is stunning? But is it, is I'm it? going to put that aside. And secondly, I would say again that, see, yeah, Brenner Boy said that and it could have been out of what is happening to my Nigerian brothers out there. Even Tiwa Savage said something. I'm fine with you saying it, but don't then go there. So, I, and I be. am a fan of making your word your yeah. bond. Because I said, I think on Monday or on Tuesday, that see, the thing is, Bonner Boy, you have to address this. You can't just move on like that. Yes. And say, so are we just going to be, uh, you know, attaching mood to your tweet? We'll say, exactly. oh, this one is from Bonner Boy and this one is from his management. I just wonder. So AK is not off point. If he's saying Bonner Boy should apologize for those tweets and let's just move on because he's willing to move on. Yeah. I said so. Yeah. But, but AKA too has said so many things. But, Remember the tweet of uh, YC? Remember <laughs> taking it back? No, you can't. You can. Say, let's just move on. Let's just yeah. bury it let's and forget move and move on. Uh, Nobody's apologizing. There are so many sides. Well, just this. moving on. The YC that even started the drama with him is yes. out of this mess. <laughs> All right, oh, can, we, can we take one more story or should we just go to our birthday shout I out? think we should just take one more story okay, because this story it. is so hot. You like it? We're so yes, juicy. baby. All right, let's do our final story, guys. John Legend becomes the sexiest man alive for 2019. Yes, American Grammy Award singer John Legend has become the sexiest man alive for 2019. And this is according to People Magazine. And of course, as we know, John Legend is known for his silky smooth vocals. And he's claiming the position this year because apparently Apparently, his several achievements and accolades have, you know, made it so. The 40-year-old singer who has an EGOT, which is an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony in his shelf, is also said to be seen as one of the nicest guys in the entertainment industry. I bet Donald Trump doesn't agree. <laughs> 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 Other past sexiest people men include Idris Elba, who claimed the title last year, Dwayne Johnson, Blake Shelton, um, Chris Hemsworth, David Beckham, and many, many others. People are not having this at all. They said... Yes, your sister, your sister doesn't. So if... <laughs> Wendy. Now, if, if you say that, if you say that John Legend is a fine man, if you say that is a gentleman, if you say that, but the sexiest man... It's six parts what? you're looking for. Like, people, and some people have been saying that being sexy is not about your hearts or something, or six packs or something. So I don't know, people have just been back and forth about this. They're not having it. But John Legend is a good looking mixed race man. Uh -huh. he's, he's a very good looking man. Good looking, is it enough? They are looking for Black, other things. Black Shell said so that was um, the sexiest man. He doesn't have six packs now. So what's the what's, what's the force? So we, I think, and I think it's nice that we're not just looking to physic, yeah, physical achievements. stuff. achievements. So yes, we're looking at achievements. We're looking at personality and character. And I think he he has earned the spot. So okay, it's okay. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to celebrity birthday shout out. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Celebrating today is our boss. Head of programs here at TVC. <laughs> His name is Folare Olukunle. Again. Yes. Happy birthday to you, boss. <laughs> um, boss, you said you will not turn up today. <laughs> but we'll change it for you. Today's your birthday if we don't turn up in this office. We'll change it for you. Then you can abuse me later or give me a query later. <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy, happy birthday, birthday boss. Happy, 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 happy birthday. And oh. we have a caller. Oh, okay, we do, yeah, because we talked about people yes, calling in for shout yes. out. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Would you like to do a birthday shout out to anyone this afternoon? Yes, I would. Okay, who? My name is Okwemi Falari. I'd like to wish my dear, dear husband, Abimbola Falari, a very happy birthday. Oh. I wish him long life. Good health, lots of 
money and wealth. Yeah. Yeah. So you can enjoy it too. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. Coincidentally, we're going to be 11 years together tomorrow. Wow, oh, congratulations. I want to to him that I'm still as crazy about him as I used to be oh. 11 years ago. Hey, romance. Oh. And I'd like to dedicate oh. this song that we used to listen to. Happy birthday, I mean. Sorry, you said you would like to dedicate something to him? A song that we used to listen to together when yeah. we first met. When you are so seeing you, which song? Please tell us. Um, it's called Fire by Babyface and Desri. Oh, that, ooh, Can you that's find romantic. it for him, please? Okay, okay. We got you. We'll hook we you up. You. We'll hook you up. Wow. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you yes, so much for calling Mrs. Olukule yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, boss, and we Happy hope you're watching. Your okay. wife has told us the song you people used to listen to when you were toasting her. I'm sure you're going to strangle <laughs> her. <laughs> and that they're going to be 11 years tomorrow yep. together. And that, um, what did she say again? She said something. And she's still as crazy still about crazy him as the first oh my God. day. That, like, that, that, that is very sweet. That is That's romance everything. right there. That is very sweet. And baby face, I mean, it doesn't get more romantic yes. than that. So we definitely have to hook you up with that one. One. So yeah, happy birthday again, Mr. Folanrio Lukunle. And of course, happy birthday to everyone celebrating today. We also have an um, American musician, songwriter, and record producer, Travis Barker. Yay! Yes, he's best known for being a drummer and of course being the drummer of Blink 182. 182. Yes, the band, the rock band. And he's 44 today. Can you believe oh, it? Oh wow. Covered in tats <laughs> and all that. So yeah, happy birthday to him, to our boss, Mr. Folanrio Lukunle, and to everyone else celebrating today. today. We turn up today. <laughs> <laughs> guys, so up next is Rewind, and you'll be taking a look at this to find out some of the major events that happened in the world of entertainment on this very day. And right after that, we're going to jam to our boss's romantic song. And I'm going to be Baby dancing at Palace. How about that for size? Let's go. Let's okay, go. I would have let's said, go. but let's go. Okay, let's go. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. She wants to check on the. Let's rewind. On this day in 1991, Michael Jackson's black or white video premiered on Fox TV. Also in 2002, the film Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets was released based on the second book by J.K. Rowling. And then in 2012, the Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2 based on the book by Stephanie Meyer directed by Bill Condon, starring Kristen Stewart and Robert Patterson, was released. And that's it on Rewind. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Sweet Bill, where we bring you all the savagery, humor, and craziness happening on social media. Are you guys ready for this? Yes! But you're too happy today. I don't know if you so let get deal. into <laughs> it. So somebody put up this tweet and it says, African mothers... Stopping uh, the father. Stopping the father from beating the child when they were the ones that reported <laughs> the child. Mm. And this is, this is, this is, yeah. You have yeah. to be like, please now, please now. This what? is legit. <laughs> this this is, is the, the truth. This is the typical case of an evil human being. The person who is doing you and sitting down and with you. Yeah, true what? that. True that. So she's the one that will lock, my mom did this a lot. Be before my dad would come up, she would lock the door so my dad would catch me outside. What were you doing outside? Then he's now beating me and you're now begging, begging. leave him now. Why should I lock the door? That's when you see me. <laughs> one of my, one of my, um, someone was saying that his mom would be like, Hmm. You are doing this and you'll be shouting so his father would hear. <laughs> my, my, my mom does that. Where, where she wants to. So, so you are doing this like this now. No, I'm you shouting. You want me to shout? I'm shouting to them. Like, yeah. Shouting. <laughs> African mothers, we hailed you. We hailed you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just move on. So, somebody put up this post and it says, Dear choir, it's your ends, not your ends. <laughs> your ends. Your ends. Your aunt. This table that Your you aunt. people are shaking, even God has done God. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hey, oh, no, God. I'm gonna leave this place now. <laughs> and, and some people will now say that if God does not answer your prayers, <laughs> yeah. if God does not answer your prayers, because he's hearing another thing, no, continue. <laughs> God, I, our God, our God, who Sh guards us. What? Shall we, shall we lift up? Yeah, I'm inquired, but I don't shall say we lift up our hands and worship. I don't, I'm, no, I we can't even start. If we want well, to I do, do this thing on, on the memes on choirs, yes. Nigerian choirs, yes. gosh, we will not leave this place today. This is very Sarah true. Sister, yeah. No, 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 I'm in the choir, but I don't do your hands. I do your hands. <laughs> I, I, wait, people, Faladele was trying to sing one song this morning and she was trying to do for now with this that I could not understand. So what's that song again, no? I don't remember. <laughs> Moving on. So somebody put up this tweet, uh, this tweet and it says, this girl um, retweeted, 
no one is, no one is, this girl retweeted, no one is interested in me. And I DM'd her, I'm interested. She deleted that tweet and posted another one. No good looking guy is interested My in God. me. My God. I love is that guy's face. Remember that guy? That's yeah, the same the guy that's making the face yeah, the exactly. Comedian. And then this Social normal media comedian. Was like, but you said what? So, <laughs> so you deleting that tweet and putting it up and saying, no good looking guy. Yeah. So that means I'm ugly. Yeah, me that yeah, entered yeah. your DM. Yeah. So she, but at least she was honest and she went back to delete what seemed like a liar. She's like, actually, to be fair, there are guys in my DM above. But no good looking not guy. Not my spec. <laughs> We're well, sorry. Yeah. So when people are fighting, people can do. Wow. <laughs> when people are fighting karate in your DM hey, and they don't say hi, hi, hi. Ho, ho. but you're looking at their pictures, you're like, no, no. not the karate I did. I showed one to OJ. The other. Oh, who did I show? Was it Amanda? And the person was saying this one looked like uh, uh, an <laughs> 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 Like I'm like, okay, it's fine. So they are fighting Chinese in your DM too. Wow. <laughs> Shall we move on? Let's <laughs> move. <laughs> So Kolami, they put up this tweet and it says, Ikeja has to be the most confusing place in Lagos. I mean, there's Ikeja inside, Ikeja under bridge, Ikeja along, Ikeja GRA. WTF, you are on the left, you go right, it's Ikeja. If you go back, it's still Ikeja. Take a bridge and cross to the other side, then swim out, it's still Ikeja. But Ikeja is big now. But really, Ikeja, Ikeja is supposed Ikeja. to be like. Yes, that, that's um, the, what's it called? The central for Lagos. The, it's, the, it used the, to be the, yeah. what's that thing the, now? The capital yeah. of Lagos. I mean, so you people but they still call it the capital of Lagos. Yeah, then. some yeah. people still, yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, Ikeja is. It's big. Is, honestly. So if we leave Ikeja for us. Oh, we'll be all in Ikeja. Ikeja. Look at them or them, them. Them where? Them where? No, I'll not Banana Island represents. Oh, wow. Shall we move on? Where is he? Banana Island. Who is living there? The Ikeja version. Like <laughs> just banana. Like the plants banana like banana oh, plantation. Wow. I'm can't. just saying. I can't. Like, wow. <laughs> Karabu put up this tweet and he says, and with a picture of an envelope, tatas, like they've destroyed it. And he says, black parents would be like, yes, you're male. See. Let and they've opened the envelope already. Let me tell you so that. I don't even want to get it. I know that tweet. this might be only put as a mom. So, and you know, because she like, wants to see what did they send to my child. Nice. That's my like you people. When I come for honeypot like this, because I know we talk. <laughs> this is going to, my to child. be honeypot. So the mother. So I'm not even talking. Here's your mail. The one you've opened. Like, <laughs> so, <laughs> well, cost me some. Like, <laughs> so the thing is, when I was in secondary school, I used to know this dude who said he would be going to GCI. So shout out to the but people. So I mean, and I got this letter in my school and it was the first time and people were like ah, so who sent you a letter and because i did not want anybody to know i went into the toilet opened this letter read it and i'd cut it into pieces put it inside my complex pack so that and then i sealed it so everybody said ah you still have provisions though so, so every time i want to letter. read i rearrange so i'll just be very happy i'm oh feeling cool i read and then i'll Sorry, dismantle what, everything and put it inside my what was in the letter Ditto, doxology so this dude it wasn't like my boyfriend i didn't have a boyfriend but he liked me and then he used to tell me all the sweet things wait 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 wait, wait. again you guys are preempting today's daily topic yes. but wait you you got the letter. Yes. You they cut it, it up. I didn't want anybody to start attaching that boyfriend boyfriend I, I to me. I believe you. I promise. You cut it up. You tore it up. Yes. And then you gathered it. You put it in a, conf a, yes, a cereal yes, box. Yeah. Sealed it up. Yeah. But like, whenever you want to reminisce. Yes. You go back. Yes. And you didn't like the, the guy. Box, yes. Arrange it. Arrange it. Do you understand? Awesome. Okay. And you didn't like the guy. I, I liked the guy. It was my friend. So he was always telling me that, okay, so I left uh, this school to this school. And this is where I'm sorry. I've not even gotten in touch. And all. I love to read the messages. I love to read the letters, you know, but what's... Hey, God. I'm going to talk more about this later because I'm still... Yeah. That is crazy in love. Like, Thank you Beyonce so... Beyonce and Jay-Z were right. Thank you so much, uh, OJ, for bringing this. I mean, that was sweet feel. Stick around, guys. We'll take a break and we will be right back. Yes, hey. guys. Up next is where are they now? So take a look at this to find out which popular Nigerian artist from way back we are talking about today. Where are they now? Esther from Resonance. She was the voice behind the group Resonance that rocked the airwaves years ago with hits like Chingweke featuring Two Face and Lele. She 
last released music two years ago when she got married. We did not hear much from her again, but we hope she will come back with a sonorous voice. <laughs> That was Esther of Resonance, yeah, one over two of Resonance from way back, and of course, now you know yeah. where she is now. <laughs> All right, guys, on that note, it is a wrap on the first half of the show. Still to come, we have Entertainment News Recap, Chew It Off, Daily Top 5, and of course, Celebrity Top 10 Countdown. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be a good one. And of course, back-to-back -back videos still coming up for you in the one o'clock hour, so stay here with us. We are back for more of the show. Yes, it is still Throwback Thursday right here on Entertainment Splash. And so far, if you've missed it, we've brought you the news, celebrity birthday shout outs, and of course, the special shout outs to our to boss. boss. <laughs> we did, baby face. And um, there was Rewind, Tweetville, and of course, where are they now? Now, of course, it's time to chew it off, where in a minute or less, one of us will vent about what is currently bothering not me, not him, her. She's okay. got problems because and we want to know that. I don't have problems. For amen, amen, amen. So amen. Amen. As a typical Nigerian, I do not have a problem. I mean. But what I want to rant about is people are entitled to their opinions. Now, that we are friends does not mean we should be on the same page every time. So I see that, I don't know, maybe it's a Nigerian thing, maybe mm. it's an African thing or the whole world thing. People just don't like sometimes when you have your own opinion. They want you to be... Even for husband and wife, sometimes it's difficult so that you're supporting this football club and I am supporting another one is a problem. They want you to, yeah. I am yeah, your yeah, husband. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you, don't, you can't actually always shove your opinion down other people's throats. And that does not mean you cannot still be friends. Yeah. Do you understand? Respect other people's opinions. Know that that is why the world is or what it is. And that is why it is beautiful. That's why we have different temperaments. That's why we have the sanguine, the choleric, the Melancholy. phlegmatic, the Melancholy. melancholy at the end of the day. And if everybody was just like the same, like, oh, everybody is hyper. Boring like, place. everyone would be boring for crying out loud. I stand hard. I agree completely. So I think that when people have opinions, respect, uh, you can still be friends, but that does not mean you can now try to enlighten, maybe make some suggestions and all that, or refer them to a particular book or something that could actually change them if you know that the path they're going is a deadly one. Mm -hmm. But that does not, you don't have that right to say, no, you don't have the right to be thinking the way you think. Uh -uh. I think it's what similar, are you doing? I think it's similar to people who say, ah, I'm fighting with this person, fight with this person with me. So I don't, I don't <laughs> ever understand and, that. And that is so tough for me because, fine, I like to believe that I'm a loyal friend and stuff, but I also believe in, like, do you, like, <laughs> I used to have an ex, or I have an ex, and my sister, so after we stopped talking and all that, she, because they used to be cool, and she was like, ah, I'm, I'm not talking to you, my sister yeah, is loyal yeah. as, like, and I love it, it's so cute, but I'm like, do you, man? If you want to be civil, be civil. If you see the person, say hi. It's not that deep. Like, I'm not that. But there are people that are like, ah, we're not, if I'm not friends with him, don't be friends. If, we're, if I'm fighting with this person, fight. Ah, but the person not offend me, oh. Like, why do I have to fight the person with you? But I seem crazy I, when I say it. So I, and you know that thing they say about, you know, so I have told you about this person. Yeah. That person has, hasn't offended you. And so yeah. you just build this thing about that person. Yeah. And then you see that person, you're not saying yeah. hi to the yeah. person. And what because if the person is now nice to you? Like, what if the person, you don't have the yeah. same experience? So you're making somebody, uh, someone else's enemy, enemy. your enemy. Mm -hmm. and For no good reason. Mm. For no reason, no. I like this rant. Nice. Mm. On the pot. Mm. I like this rant. But it's a true life story, but you don't tell us. But tell right. us! <laughs> call name, 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 name and shame. You know that I can be blunt like that, but today, <laughs> yeah. I going. repented. Because okay. it's for Lion's birthday. Because it's for Lion's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, guys, yes, here's a quick recap of the entertainment news. The Badge and Bakuli in War of Words. All right, and then we told you that Latan is to feature in Jennifer's Diary. Yes, we did. We wanted to. And then, of course, we also talked about, um, you know, AKA saying, but I'm wearing more. So Apologize. Like, like, by force, by force. And of course, we talked about John Legend becoming the sexiest man alive for 2019, according yes, to People Magazine. Yes, sir. All right, let us know that you are watching the show by calling us on the numbers on the screen and tweet into us at TVC Connect with the hashtag is slash on TVC. We are on Instagram too with the same handle. We'll go on this break and uh, we'll return. Stay here with us. <laughs> All right, um, before we do Daily Top 5, we told you that it is the birthday, yes, of our boss. You look good, by the way. <laughs> stop it. It's oh, wow. my baby. <laughs> 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Cute. <laughs> Thanks, honey. But you look amazing as well. I told you off camera. So let me say you're on camera. Oh, wow. You look sweet. OJ, you don't look nothing. I know, right? <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we told you earlier, of course, we'll be celebrating our boss, Mr. Falani Olukule. And we have one more thing to maybe drive home the waterworks. Will he cry? Oh, my don't God. Know. Okay. Take a look at this, sir. This is for you. <laughs> Happy birthday once again. From everyone. At TVC. Turn up today! Number one, nothing to do to a creative boss. Nice boss. Great boss. Great man. Full of experience. Disciplined. Smart. Happy birthday, boss. We love you. Happy birthday, Mr. Polari. Happy birthday, Polari. Happy birthday, Mr. Lupule Polari. Long life and prosperity. Yes! Happy birthday, sir. Thank you for everything. Love you! Happy birthday, boss! Happy we, birthday! Happy, happy birthday. birthday! We must turn up today. Then, all of this, oh, part, all of this thing. I think so. Um, Falari always has cake because last year, yeah, too um, many cakes. Birthday crush yeah. his anniversary, and we had cupcakes. No, stuff, so. Falari always has something in his fridge. So, yeah. Falari, I am so visiting today. It's only you. We are we all visiting. Him. Why are you Nigerians wow. like this? What are you giving the celebrant? Shout out! <laughs> <laughs> happy I love birthday! It. Wow. And anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go on a break and delete some five is next. So stay here with us. <laughs> Guys, it's time for Daily Top 5. Yes, love is a beautiful thing, I tell you. Regardless of color, tribe, background, when love hits you, it just does. Do you mm. ever think about your first love or your first crush from your childhood and how you expressed your attraction to him or her? Like, did you tear up paper like honey pots or something? Well, <laughs> brace up because we are about to go down memory lane. Let's throw it back to the ways love was expressed back then. Number one, letter writing. <laughs> This was one of the common ways of expressing love in the olden days, yes. A lot of guys seemed to find it easier to express their feelings by writing love letters to the girl of their dreams. Ladies, don't lie. You fell for the cavalry greetings and the if so, doxology. <laughs> don't lie, honey okay. pot. So That's how they call and you I, I it. fell for it <laughs> and I still crave it because oh. so many guys these days don't even know how to write. They, they, they can't even spell well. Eh? So maybe we should go back to those days. Eh? Yeah. Wow. Imagine... So you meet somebody and the person is saying, wants to say I am and person I've said it a lot of times and people still make that mistake I'm um, what's the am um? that and that's now they will now start abbreviating the time that they are supposed to use to write N O W now they will write N A W and they'll still say Mama, I, 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 now. What? where did you come from okay, Please, can we go back to the olden days okay wait wait so imagine a guy writes your love letter now pen paper pen paper as an actual letter but then you put now N A U. We used no, to be angry because no. you want letter. I, I would be angry. Letter, so I want proper. So the thing is, I still crave it, and I think that I still like to write yeah. to people yeah. because I have a friend who takes the time from the UK and sees somebody coming to Nigeria and write. She says she misses it, oh, and so she wants you to. And I appreciate it. I kept some of the letters. I don't know if I can still find them. You know how you know you have more things and all that. Yeah. I still wish that I can still find some letters to read these days. So it's, I think oh, I'll be writing. It's, it's really. But good. I believe. If I would ever miss you, I mean, if I would ever relocate and would, wait, I would write wait, letters wait. You to you. You are just talking like about country. people writing letters to you. Can't you people write letters to guys yeah. too? So let me ask you, so I was going to say this? something. I was going to say something about that. So my cousin, uh, my really close cousin, she has, she's married to a military man. And so there was a period of like nine weeks where he was on, he was doing a training. And so they couldn't be in communication by phone and stuff. So they had to write letters. And it was so emotional to watch, because she was living with me at the time. It was so emotional to watch her like, you know, she have to, she would have to wait a week for the letter to come because you have to send the mail, like send it by yeah. mail and post and stuff. And she will and then it'll come and she'll cry and then she'll write her own back. Send it. Ah, just, they're married now and they're living together. I'm so happy. You see, they Nigerian <laughs> girls. Learn to write letter too. Nipo still works. Well, uh, I'm just. <laughs> Let's just move on to the second one. Yes, intermediary and <laughs> matchmaker. <laughs> yes, we can't even deny that matchmakers were responsible for a lot of relationship in the past. For those that were shy, there was always that one friend or relative you could am twist into helping you talk to your crush yeah. shout out to all the intermediaries and matchmakers in your lives <laughs> in our lives they were the real mvps and i have oh, one have story, right? i have a story <laughs> his name is festos <laughs> and he was supposed to match make me with titi we ended up ah matchmaking himself with yeah. titi 
Wow. That, she, you say I can still remember his name, Festus and Titi. OJ. Yeah. Look at Festus, the camera. you were supposed to be my guy. OJ, wait, look at the, let's set up I'm the moment as well. OJ, look at the camera and say something from your heart to Festus. I hope right Festus now, is watching. If he's watching. Festus, I'm not going to call your son in, but Festus. I used, to crush, I used to crush traitor. on Titi. You are people, a traitor. People were in the same hostel. Festus, just one single job. Let's just tell her that there's this guy. But now I do my toasting myself, so I'm all right. You're you I'm grown. I'm grown. You after first, yes, after Festus showed me, I just went. I just but guess what? You had one job. Guys, one if you're job. looking for somebody who can do that for you, Faladele would do it so well. Oh, wow. And wow. Faladele will not snatch you. Call me. Uh, yes, I will not snatch you. She will not snatch you. But then, don't let any potent send you to my DM, because it's not as if maybe I have people lined up. <laughs> they are not there. See, I know more good girls than bad, than good guys. Because Faladele uh, likes this bebo room yeah. of relationship. She likes the bebo room. She's asking every time, update, update. Right, moving on to our our next expression of love, <laughs> songwriting and singing. Yes, how can you talk about expressing love in the olden days without songwriting or singing? No way, guys. I'm sure love made many guys discover their hidden songwriting and singing talent. I mean, my lover, shout out to you. <laughs> I mean, my Yoruba people, I'm sure you guys watch that movie. Oh my goodness. Should I sing yeah? that song? I can't, but no. Oh, wow. No, stop, 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 stop. Okay, stop, sorry. Stop, stop, stop. Don't do I'm that, done. don't do that. Yeah, every guy, every guy, every guy actually sang. What did you? Before. And Why were remember? we cramming all those lyrics book? Because we wanted to just bust one girl's And then brain. they now did us well and had lyrics, we had like books. lyrics books were uh, a thing back then. Like, we singing easy. an empty heart. Uh, 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 did you see that even Falari's wife dedicated once and said they used to sing that song? Ah! Hmm. Ah. So like I said earlier, boss, I'll come and meet you later after the show I, I, so that you give, give me some songs that I can be using. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is bickering and picking a fight. I'm sure many of us did this one. Again, if you were too shy to just walk up to your crush, bickering and picking a fight with them was the odd yet common way many showed their interest from picking a fight. They start to notice one other, you know, one another, and then voila, they become lovers. Oh my gosh, this one is so true. Voila, they on this table. How are do you, you know kidding? That Tell I have, me. But it's true. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> you guys. I don't like to tell this story. Tell us. So, uh, <laughs> when I was in just one, oh God. Okay, when I was in just one, um, there was this guy. So we we went to the same primary school and then we ended up in the same secondary school. And so I liked him throughout primary school, but just crushed from afar, right? And then in just one, it was Valentine's Day, and then he made me a card, like a handmade card, and it was like roses are red, violets are blue. You're punch sweet. Line. That's why I love you. Like full punchline. And I do not know the spirit of demons, of Karashika that came over me, of Jezebel. Honeypot, <laughs> I tore the card. I don't know what, like till tomorrow, I can't understand. But that was like, but I liked him. But I tore the card. You just before me. Like I embarrassed him. Had to get. But I liked him. I... <laughs> there were a lot of people on this table. Hey. You, know, you, you know where you're fighting, you're making it interesting, you're putting you, in Like you feel, you know girls after yeah. fight. Uh, so you're bickering, you're throwing mm. paper at the person I don't like, in class. I don't like him. What, what, what How is about it? having a special <laughs> meeting spot? He's so ugly. Okay, <laughs> having a special <laughs> meeting spot. Was this what we meant when we were singing? La be igi o rombo rombo ni ve la de wa inu wajun wajun ara waya waya o rombo o rombo. All right. You know, many love stories. <laughs> started from meeting spots like under big trees, school backyards, parks, entrances of churches, and so many more. Churches in this again. Yes. Yeah, so well, mm. what made it even more special was having a signal that made it easy for mm. both of you to know when to meet <laughs> other spots. Like, <laughs> some people yeah. will be whispering, this, this like, so, and this, then there will be, um, what's yeah. that thing again? Uh, um, catch calling. Uh, 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 so what's that? Whistling. Whist whistling. Yeah, yeah, whistling. Yeah. Whistle, whistle Whist the girl's name. And she will know that, oh, it's around. Angulo. It's around. You know, you know, because I'm all of my but like, with yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how to do that. I you know, know how you can't throw, some of us can't roll, or some people can't roll their tongues. Yeah. So I don't know how to wink, and I don't know how to whistle. Like, <laughs> so you would have failed if that was your signal. So but um, the there are movies where, like, you bring, there's this popular movie with John Kizak, and he carries the, like, um, the, speaker. yeah, the speaker up to her window. So she starts hearing it, and that's, like, you know, to calm down and stuff. So, Nipot, where did you used to meet? <laughs> oh, my, there are plenty. No, <laughs> ah, my father was my father was so so strict that 
I eventually had a boyfriend when I left secondary school, and that was my first boyfriend, like official boyfriend. Oh, wow. And so I was always just very so sometimes because of how clumsy it can be with my father and all that. So I'll just go to the guy and say, Well, please, let's just break up. <laughs> <laughs> Parents broke up a lot of relationships. Because you don't get, and that one wanted me to become an adult. Can't I come and visit you? Ah, yeah, uh, you cannot come and visit me. Oh, what's wrong with this one? And he was eight years older than me, so I could not even, uh, for the life of me, for the life of me again, eight years or even more, for the life of me, I couldn't even understand. So it was as if I was dating my uncle. So you were like so, 16 and he was like 24. So, so, kind so, of so you can imagine, and he was already wanting to be an adult like that, and he could not even consider that I was a child. Eh. Like, please, don't. Falaji, what was about your own meeting spots, you had um, several too. Uh, because you've already allowed me to disgrace myself with my Valentine's Day no, story. Keep going. So um, I'll tell you later. Goodbye, oh, OJ. <laughs> <laughs> right, moving swiftly along on the show, guys. Um, we'll take a break, and when we come back, it will be time for a celebrity top ten countdown. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Yes. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Up next. It's time for Celebrity Top 10 Countdown. Let's find out what Celebrity's playlist we'll be rocking to today. Check this out. Hi, everyone. Hi, it's Juliana. I'm an actor, and you're welcome to Celebrity Top 10 Countdown. And this is a throwback edition. So for number 10 is... Can you take a guess? <laughs> okay, I'll just tell you already. My number 10 would be Mr. Lecturer by Idris Abdul Karim. Excuse me, sir. I don't know what to do. Oh my god. This is my turn. I'm in school. Wanna give my head up? I hope I still know the lyrics. My lecturer. Okay, let's just check it out and I'll be back to tell you my number nine. I'm in love with my story. Okay, so we're back, and that's my number 10. I hope you like it. If you don't like it, like it for my sake, because I like it. Okay, so for my number 9 would be Mathematics by Sam Sultan. Everybody, the mathematics is a mathematics. Oh yeah, watch it now. <laughs> and I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. My name is Sans and your new mathematics teacher. By the way, do you understand pretty English? Yes! Okay, now what do we go use this for? Okay, carry your paper. Carry your paper. Left for my people. People love to swallow them plenty. Okay, so <laughs> you like that song, right? So for my number eight would be um <laughs> eh, eh, you know it's my car. Okay, that's my car by Tony Ted Tula. I'm sorry if I do pronounce the Tula well. Tula Tula, whatever. You know it's my car. You will regret it. Eh, eh. Ah, that part, my favorite part is when that small Tinubu came out <laughs> of the car. Check it out in case you don't remember what it looks like. Don't hit anybody's car. When you're driving, drive carefully. <laughs> okay, so that's number eight. For number seven would be... <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready to do my number seven? Eh? If you see my mama, Rosanna, tell I'm so, eh? I did it for... Oh my God, I can't remember where I did. <laughs> okay, I did for TVC. <laughs> okay, but um, that song is by Daddy Shoki, so check it out. Okay, yeah, so that's my number seven. I hope you like it. Oh, that song is. 
so nice. My mom loved that song. So, mommy, <laughs> if you're watching, that was for you. So, this is number six. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, this song. Olufumi, oh, papa mi leku, oh, olufumi lola. Ma she fi mi si le lai lai, do it to me, oh, olufumi, oh. Please don't go. Check it out. <laughs> said to you that I never want to love another woman, girl, it was true, so true, I meant to marry you, but when I did, I put the one to take care of you. Okay, ah, oh, that love song, that, oh gosh. Okay, so my number five is, Oh, we're all a any marry real, any marry real. By beautiful Nubia. Check it out. Put you multi more, me a moraji, Katuram, Odisha, or a lack of wego, go and eat to home wash, or more lay will. Oh, we're all a joy, any married. Welcome back. You know why I love that song? My mom loves listening to a particular radio station. I don't want to mention. They always sing that song in the morning. So I really love that song. I think it's a great song for you to listen to in the morning. And, you know, you just appreciate it. Another day, you know, and it's another time to be alive and get up from your bed and work. For number four, are you ready? <laughs> you are my African queen and I know that is... Oh, shoot! I can't remember the lyrics. You are my African queen. Check it out. Bye. Two face Edivia. Check it out. <laughs> Just like the sun lights up the earth, it lights up my life. The only one I ever see with a smile so bright. Hey. And just yesterday, you came around my way. Okay, so number three. <laughs> I love, love, love this person so much. I love Lagwaja so much. I want him to come back, like come back, come back. Like I want to listen to his song again. So wherever I go, wherever. Okay, so listen to the real voice, the sweet one. Check it out. <laughs> All alone, when I think of all the good times that I wish we together, baby, I cannot understand how we ever let things get so bad. Two, 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 two to go okay so number two would be i love love songs okay so forgive me is ag world by shola listen if Ah, oh my god, my mom will be so disappointed in me now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know that you're about, so I don't want to bother it so much. <laughs> Check the video and see it for yourself. <laughs> Number one is this song is by Infinity. <laughs> no, okay, I'm gonna tell you already. So it's Olorio called by Infinity. Imole wale wa gush imole tide eh Olorio kushimba wa eh 
Hey, oh boy. Yes, actually, Uluri Oko is coming back, so be ready. In the book of Revelation, there is warning for the nation. So thank you for watching Celebrity Top 10 uh, and thank you for liking my songs. <laughs> thank you so much. Juliana, I love your playlist. I mean, that infinity, uh, beautiful Nubia, Shola Alison. Oh my gosh. You're speaking to my heart. Beautiful, Honestly, beautiful, beautiful. Solid, solid. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. And I mean, she's, she's not like super old, but to have been able to put something So I think that it is what you've been exposed yeah, to. Yeah, I think Music so. is just so beautiful. Sometimes it's so hard for me to say this is my best song. Yes, of course, of course. Oh my goodness. Do we have to go? Yeah, we have to go, but then. Man, guys. <laughs> but before we do go, OJ, so we told everyone at home yesterday, yesterday. that um, we're going to play an Anjali Kijo song today, uh, where we, I believe it's called, and um, there was a story behind it. So we're doing our research. Well, OJ was doing his research, and he kind of <laughs> called me. I was like, ah, come on, stop, come on. And um, I thought it was really cool that so um, it was an article on the songs that inspired um, Burner Boy's African African Giant, Giant album. Yeah. Yes, so the songs that he sampled, the songs that, of course, hoping that he got um, credit for those. And and our oh, site said credit for those. And um, Anjali Kijo's Wewe was one of them. Oh. And if you guys listen, we're going to play it shortly. And you will hear the similarities between Burna Boys, Anybody, and Anjali Kijo's Wewe. Yeah. Anyway, guys, it is time to go. Like I said before, truly nothing compares to listening to an awesome lineup of throwback songs on a Thursday afternoon. Totally enjoyed her playlist and totally enjoyed our playlist today. Yes. And we hope you did as well at home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think that Burna Boy actually really revere Anjali Kijo. Yes, yeah. And, uh, you know, so feature uh, on, on this song, project and, 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 yeah. and to, to even say that you know it goes back to what you've been exposed to yes. burner boy is nobody's i mean so many people she is not on that level with so many Musically. people of his own age all right so weekend is looking great already yes you know our weekend starts on thursdays yeah, don't so. forget to send in yeah. your selfie request to get our sport on our selfie request segment tomorrow it's always cool to watch the songs you are feeling at the more Man, yes, yes it is. <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. It's lovely Thursday afternoon. From her at Honeypot on Mike, him at King OJ, and myself at Foladele F on social media. Guys, thank you for watching, and we have had so much fun, and we hope you did as well. We'll catch you tomorrow for more turn up because it continues. Can we go and twerk? Have a good afternoon. Twerk and twerk. Oh, yeah, stand up. Bye. Bye.